Yo, 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 what's up? How you feel? How you living me? God bless you. This is another episode of New Era Box and the Best TV. Like, subscribe, leave a comment for feedback. What's up, y'all? I know it been a minute, but yeah, we just had the press conference. A Devin Haney versus Ron God said April 20th in New York, you feel me? It was interesting. Whereas though you they did they lower back and forth. Ron God said even told Devin Haney that Floyd Mayweather showed him the spawn video of when Tank Davis knocked him out. And the Haney's they was kinda in disbelief about it. But you know Bell. Bell went straight. Straight in the uh Thorn shots. Thorn shots at Floyd Mayweather. You feel me? Telling the people that Devin Haney got the best of Floyd in the spawn. And that was the reason he hung up his gloves. Yep, that's what uh your boy Dad said. I mean Bill said. But where's the I believe that shit went down, you feel? Cause whereas the Ron God said Floyd Mayweather, they been hanging around, you feel me? So in this video of them going on a jog on a late night, you feel me? Ron God said probably got some truth to that. I don't see him coming out lying, you feel me? Saying some shit like that. So he might got some truth beyond it. And my prediction for this fight, man. Like, first I was going Devin Haney. I was straight. It was easy to pick Devin Haney, you feel me? But then I had to start looking at the business of it. The business of boxing. And if y'all pay attention, this is really a golden boy card. And Matchroom just being a part of it. You feel me? And that being said, that man Golden Boy, they gonna have a, a say so. Probably on the referee, probably on the judges, all that type stuff that night. You feel me? And I ain't no limited minded ass nigga. You feel me? A lot of these people in the box community, they got limited thoughts. And it's easy to pick Devin Haney. It's easy to pick Devin Haney to say he gonna win. Cause in all hindsight, Devin Haney should win this fight. But if you look at the politics of boxing and the business, it could straight point to a controversial decision Ryan God said. Especially if Devin Haney don't get the knockout. Y'all say, why you say that, Doug? I say that because if Devin Haney, now y'all see Devin Haney going from promotion to promotion, trying to make his way. Sort of like a Canelo, you feel me? But the thing is, Devin Haney don't sound like Canelo. And you know this a boxing. These people run off money. How much they getting paid? As we just seen the WBA, they got rid of the regular. That made the super. And made Devin and made Tank Davis the, the champion. Just because they know that percentage. They want that percentage. And the more you bring in. The higher the percentage is. You feel what I'm saying? It's going to stay at 25%. But. Think about. 25% of. 5 million. Or 25. Or 25% of 20 million. Even 50 million. 
You feel me? It's a difference. And you know, they gonna be looking at what you bring to the table, man. Like Floyd Mayweather said, there's too many goddamn belts, man. And these belts, they get thrown around for a very good reason, man. And it's the business. It's the business so these sanctioning bodies could keep getting paid. So if you Devin Haney and the Haney's, y'all looking at all this stuff. And I say Mauricio, they had Mauricio Selimar sitting right next to him. And that, that was interesting to me too because as a WBC champion, you want the WBC president on good terms with you. So that could be a good sign for Devin Haney if Mauricio Salomon is backing him in this fight. But if Mauricio Salomon, a lot of people say he's unlike his father. And he he do a whole lot of things that his father wouldn't do. So I wouldn't put it past him. They say, well, if Brian Garcia bringing in more money than Devin Haney, let's make him the WBC 140 champion and go from there. Devin Haney want the rematch. We can give him the rematch. But Sander Martin probably will be somewhere in the middle of that. Because as you can see, Sander Martin and Mauricio Silomar they just took a picture a week ago. You feel me? And I'm hearing Sandra Martin will have to be paid step aside money for Devin Haney to take this fight with Ron Garcet. I could be wrong. But Sandra Martin is the, uh, I think the WBC number one contender. And he could petition for that fight. So, you feel me? It's easy to pick Devin Haney. Because that's the easiest pick. But I'm going with the controversial decision. You feel me? I'm putting some money on that. I'm going to throw another parlay with Devin. By decision, even probably by a knockout. Because he's going to need to put his foot down. Because this might be one of them them fights where he can't leave it in the judge's hand man he gotta take a uh he gotta take a a step out javante tank davis book and take and take ryan out man you might gotta take ryan out you feel me cuz you don't know what's up with these sports of boxing man this shit you know this shit get political, man. Devin Haney can win that. Can win all 12 of them rounds. Easy. Unanimous. And still come out with the loss. Because we seen this before. We seen this before, man. And some for some people to just to be blind to this stuff. Hey. Y'all could be blind. But I'm gonna look at I'm gonna look at all the angles. I'm gonna look at the bigger picture. I'm gonna look at what they try and do. You feel me? And I know Ron Garcia, a big name, but he nowhere deserved this fight, man. You feel me? He nowhere deserved this fight right now. If we talking about chasing legacy and all that. So, man, with that being said, man, it's a new king in town, man. Might be a new king in town, you feel me? Ryan God said April 20th, man. Keep your eyes open, you never know. And, um, that's another episode of New Era Boxing and Best TV. Like, subscribe, leave a comment for feedback. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Stop the show. What's up, nigga? You got a problem with Tank Davis, nigga?